second attempt at this pour. As you could tell, my original attempt, I just did not like the way the colors were, were being poured out. Um, and I could tell that the cell reaction wasn't going to be there either. So I just dumped some more base paint over the top and um, just did it again. You know, if you don't like what you see, just um, pour over it and try again. So here is what we've got so far. I'm going to bring you down, um, show you what kind of pearls we've got developing here. We've got that Nicolazo, uh, quinacrinone Nicolazo gold coming through in those pearls. I wasn't going to put in the Porage Posse Susan Heirloom Shimmer at first, but I'm really glad I did. I think it really gave it a nice pop of color there. Since the, um, at first the Nicolazo Gold was taking over the entire thing, so um, I'm glad I, I poured over it. And you can see the Nicolazo Gold coming through, the Quinac coming through. I like this so much better than my last pour in that, I think it was video 51, where I tried a different um, cloud pearl pour recipe. So I'm back to my old one, and this is the result. Now I know I'm going to get some more pearls popping up. I can see it happening here. Can you see that? That's really cool. And I've got some really good shimmer coming through because. What I do with my um, quinacrinone nickel azo gold is I usually put a little dollop of Golden's, um, it's the um, gold, let's see, what is it called? It's, it's um, bright gold fine, the fine. And I usually put a little dollop of that in there with my Golden's nickel azo gold. So, yeah. So we'll come back to this a little later and see how many more pearls we've got developed. And um, I think that's really cool the way this is coming out like that. I like, um, typically I like a lot more negative space, but because of how the first pour came out and I poured over it, there's just no way I was going to get the negative space. Check it out, check it out. And that Porage Posse is coming through right here too. You can see it underneath there. So I'm happy with this so far. So let's give it a time to uh, cook a little bit, you might say, percolate, and we'll be back. 
Hello my friends, we are back and this is the dried results. It's not like I got a lot more pearls that developed on here, but I'm truly happy with the amount of pearls that I did get. It did not overtake the painting, just in a few little areas. But the pearls that I got, that's what I'm looking for. You see the color coming through? That's what I like. You can see Susan's heirloom shimmer peeking through there, that porage bossy, which is what you see up through here. I'm glad I added that. I wasn't going to, but I did, and I'm happy. You can see the nice little pearls with the color coming through. I like that. And this is my old recipe that I used. And you can see a touch of the cloud cloudiness coming through which is the cloud pearl pour recipe and then occasionally you can see where the the cells and the pearls come out and then split those are fun kind of ghostly looking aren't they and um, that was the the f last video that I did where I wasn't happy with that recipe that I used um, and see and here's the difference see those pearls now see these pearls and you get what I'm talking about so sometimes I do a pour and I regret not filming because right after I did this one I went ahead and did another one on just an 11 by 14 cradled wood board and this is the result of that darn it I wished I'd have filmed that because I really like this one now the pearls did not overtake this and I like that and the pearls that I got were really cool looking <laughs> I mean seriously cool looking and the cloud effect great cloud effect and in this one I did not put in the Susan's heirloom shimmer instead porage posse most shimmering eggplant and that's the color that you're seeing through here, along with the other colors that I used in all, <clears throat> excuse me, in all the rest, the other paintings here, which I'll show you again, was the Pebio Iridescent Green Blue, the Amsterdam Turquoise Green, and of course the winner, Golden's Nickel Azo Gold, but I always add that bright gold fine to it to give it some shimmer. I add the Porage Posse Gold Rush, which has a dollop of Amsterdam Deep Gold to it in that one. And um, like I said, in this one was the Porage Posse Most Shimmering Eggplant in here. Whereas in the first one, it was the Porage Posse Susan Heirloom Shimmer. And the Nickel Azel Gold did not come as prominent as the other two paintings in this, but you sure can see it peeking through and you can see it coming through on the pearls. So there you have it. Again, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so, so much. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, let's do that. Y'all take care and be good to each other. Bye-bye.